Let's talk about research in GLP-1s and type 1 diabetes. As part of our Ask an Endo series in collaboration with You're Just My Type, many of you asked about GLP-1s like Ozempic and Manjaro for type 1 diabetes, so we're dropping two videos at the same time. This one is about research opportunities, and the other one explains my thoughts and experiences prescribing these medications. So there have been a total of zero large-scale randomized clinical trials completed thus far for Ozempic or Manjaro, specifically when it comes to type 1 diabetes. This lack of evidence is why the FDA has not yet approved GLP-1s for use in managing type 1 diabetes, even though many endocrinologists like myself are already prescribing them off-label to great benefit for our patients. That's why it's really exciting that Lilly is launching two phase 3 clinical trials called Surpass T1D1 and Surpass T1D2, this month looking specifically at the use of terzepatide in type 1 diabetes. And both studies are recruiting from sites located all around the United States and actually from many countries around the world as well. Now before I get to the details, here are some general pros and cons to consider when participating in drug trials. The first pro is that you get the study drug provided at no cost to you directly from the research facility. You don't have to deal with pharmacies or insurance. And in fact, you actually get financially compensated for your time and hassle. A second benefit is that you are contributing to science and are paying it forward by helping medications earn FDA approvals to gain insurance coverage. Really the first downside here is that it does require a lot of time and energy. Most research studies will include at least one or two in-person visits a month and more frequent lab draws and tests that you're probably not used to. A second major thing to consider is that most drug trials include a placebo group. Having a placebo group is really important for scientific purposes to ensure that the benefits people see in the study are not just from the placebo effect. A third thing to consider is that studies follow extremely structured protocols not allowing for the usual wiggle room that a typical doctor's visit might have. And along those lines, all studies have very strict criteria that have to be met for you to be eligible to participate. Let's talk about these two studies in particular. Here are some of the criteria that you have to meet. First off, you must be 18 years or older. Two, you must have had type 1 diabetes for at least one year. Three, while you can be on pumps or insulin injections, you do have to commit to one or the other for the duration of the trial. Number four, you must have a BMI of 25 or higher. And number five, you must have an A1C between seven and 10.5%. Keep in mind, this is not an exhaustive list of the criteria, just some of the major highlights. And if you do meet these criteria and would like to participate, please reach out directly to one of the sites listed on the website. All right, so feel free to ask any follow-up questions you might have in the comments or ask any type one diabetes related question you might want us to answer.